Alright, how is this for camera lighting? I, I don't know how it'll work, but I'm gonna see how it'll work later, I guess. And we're gonna go up here. Oh wait, I can't go up here just yet. Um, oh wait, I'm gonna, I gotta pick up the skull, I forgot about this. Yay, creepy skull, and I'm gonna put it on the switch. Right, like that, and now that'll make the ladder appear. We've got a ladder. It's actually more like that like an elevator. So that means some elevator. Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, I guess no elevator music just yet. We gotta wait for Spooky Ghost Guy to move. And I just noticed he's still pretty glowy. So uh, hold on a sec. Okay, I think I got it this time. If I have to, I will brighten up the clip in Windows Movie Maker. But I had to lower the uh, brightness output or something, I believe it's called, on the... Uh, oops, there we go. Uh, on the camera to the very maximum, so as not to uh, make anything appear more glowy than anything else. And we're going to run across here... You know, before we die, you know, go, 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 yeah, those skulls will come alive. And up the ladder we go! And let's see what's in these pots over here. There's probably something in these pots. Ooh, it's some booty! <laughs> There's some bats flying about. Whoa, what the heck? Isn't that a bionic commando thing? Uh, yes it is! Yay! <laughs> that was totally not out of place at all. <laughs> that was kind of, that's kind of like a silly little Easter egg there. And now we are going to... Uh, I forgot what I have to do here. Let's see what happens if I pull this thing here. Oops. Pull this thing right here. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this. Yeah! Just like that. It's gonna make the bell toll, I guess. And, uh... Um... What's that gonna do? Um... Ugh, now I remember. Yeah, I remember that now. Okay, um, now what I gotta do is, hold on a sec, I, I kind of forgot this one a little bit, uh, let's see, go down the ladder, I think, I'm pretty sure I have to look, oh no, I can't go in there, go, go up, go up, go up, go, 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 hey, I was just, I was almost about to die there, because those guys are gonna come back to life down there, and, um, yeah. So how's it going? We gotta wait a little bit. Nice weather we're having. It's all cloudy and dark. You know, it kind of hurts my eyes when it's sunny. That's why I say it's nice weather. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and even the ghosts agreed. Okay, now I'm gonna click in here. Now I'm gonna click on the moon right here. And we got a moon gem. What do you know? Or I should say it's a moonstone. Don't be confused for its Pokemon variant. Now put it in this lantern right here. Okay, now grab a skull. Just like this. Now drop it off here. Like that. Grab the other skull. Drop it off here. Right in this light. There we go. And now, when this light goes out, the key will appear. I can grab the key. Just like this. Woo! Now we can progress with our adventure. Woo! <laughs> up the ladder we go. And we're going to unlock this door right here. And turn. Yeah! That was the best turning action ever. So so good, we had to celebrate. <laughs> and now look at this frog. Look at the frog. See that frog right here? Look at it. Ding, 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 ding. Now grab the bomb. And put it right here. Right on this crack portion. Right here. Yeah, you see what's coming. You see what's coming. There goes the bell. Oh, no. Bye bye! <laughs> and our pathway to the treasure chest is now safe. And now we can just go on right here, slide all the way down to the basement. Everything is perfectly safe. And our path to the treasure chest is a mirror 20 steps away. <laughs> Ding -ding. And our first treasure of Barbaros' castle is ours. Uh, Ein Sam Kiet Belt. What the heck is that? Pronounce it for me. I don't know what the heck that is. But it's a belt and it's shiny. <laughs> it seems to have ruby and sapphire and even an emerald on the back. Maybe it's a Pokemon reference. I don't know. But, uh, yep. Yeah, got 13 parts now. We're on our way to completing Barbaros' treasure. Puzzleable, we are the masters of puzzle. 
And I think we've got, yeah, we have plenty of time in this part to do a little bit more of the, I mean, to start off the next part. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to tweak the, uh, the camera's brightness through Windows Movie Maker. I should say the video's brightness. Um, I kind of hate that one. Uh, I'm gonna do the Painted Secret. Now, the Mirror Mirror one, I'm, I don't even remember how to do, actually. I, um, well, maybe I do. It's another Simon Says kind of puzzle area, and it's really, really annoying. Because there's like seven objects in the room, and you have to, uh, um, do it like in the order of five objects or something. Like, you know, you have to pick the right objects in the right order, and, you know, it, it's just sucky. Alright. This is the Painted Secrets. As you see, there's a lot of uh, portraits around this area. We're going to grab this puzzle piece looking thing. This is a gold fragment, in case you can't tell. Oh, and by the way, it's next to impossible to die on this one. You can only, like, you can only, like, die on one spot in this area. Okay, now, take a look at this portrait. Take a look at this portrait. It's got a key. Grab the portrait. It's also got a ghost in it. It's just called an eerie picture. Now, grab this portrait. Pull this portrait off here. We don't need this portrait. Yeah. Yeah, that's another eerie picture. I'm gonna put that one over here. Yeah, it's gotta go. Whoops, did not want to do that. Put it over there. <laughs> and grab this picture. Yay! Put it here. Yep, right there. And now I'm gonna go on this. See this? See this picture of a broom? Why is there a picture of a broom? Because you can grab the broom like this. Put your hand just like this, and then uh, jab it into there, and then pull it back out. You can actually pull things out of the paintings in this one, which is actually pretty cool. <clears throat> I mean, a cool concept. Kind of reminds me of Mario 64. Uh, will you go inside the painting? Okay, see this? See this? I've got a broom. Those are clouds. Click on the portrait. Sweep, 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 sweep. Go away, clouds. No one likes you, clouds. <laughs> And would you look at that, the ghost disappears and you get your key. How convenient was that? <laughs> now go over to this portrait over here. I said go over to this one over here, Zach. Now dust off this door. Dust off the door. Yeah, we are a merry maid. <laughs> yeah! Um, and I don't think there's anything else we need to do, whoops, to do over here. Um, I don't need anything... Now, I'm gonna drop the broom off over here. I'll show you why in just a second. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go in here right real quick. This is a faucet handle. Yep, you can grab the faucet handle. <laughs> Actually, it's called a gold faucet, but it's a faucet, basically. Drop that off there, because you don't need that just yet. And grab the key. Key, good! <laughs> and go back up here. Go, Zach, go! Move those legs! And put it into the portrait, which strangely works for some odd reason. But there's a spooky castle, so you shouldn't really question it. <laughs> and this is also a video game, and you show you shouldn't question it. Uh, oh, what's in these pots? I forgot. But isn't there something neat in these pots? Um, some pirate booty. <laughs>